Okay, we're in the booth here with Dave Weckel. Dave, give me a little uh, update of what you've done in 2011 and what you have coming up in 2012. How much time we got? <laughs> um, yeah, 2011 was uh, busy. I'm sort of one of the revolving chair jazz fusion drummers left for those kind of gigs. So between me and Steve Smith and Dennis and Novak and a couple of others, we're out there always doing something, you know. But, but I've been busy with uh, Mike Stern, Osnoy, both great guitar players, um, doing some work with the Nomads, which is Chris Mendoki's group with George Witte and Dean Brown, uh, Jeff Lorber every once in a while, kind of whoever calls, but it's keeping me busy. I'm booked a year in advance pretty much doing that kind of thing and got my studio real busy at my house doing tracks and uh, a bunch of, you know, some singles that I'm actually selling on my site as complete packages for play-alongs and that type of thing at DaveWeckle.com. And um, and just, you know, just, uh, just keeping on keeping on, you know, trying to keep it all going. All right, we're in the booth here with Florian, the Brushmaster. So brush, uh, give us a little rundown of how you uh, ended last year and what you're going to be doing this year going into, you know, going into 2012. Okay. Last year I did many, many master classes and my book, um, The Complete, Br uh, Complete Guide to Playing Brushes, was published here in the US and actually it was a huge success. And this year in 2012, um, I'm playing with the um, WDR big band in Germany and uh, my new DVD is coming out in March. Uh, look out for that. Um, it's called The Brush Secret. Stanton Moore is on it and other great Big Firth artists. So definitely have a look at that. Yeah. So let me ask you, what uh, what's your what brushes you? I know you use all the brushes, but which one do you kind of gravitate to uh, most of the time? Okay, most of the time I'm using two models: um, the heritage brushes and um, the legacy ones. And um, the heritage brushes I'm using more for jazz context and uh, when I need uh, more that flexibility. And the legacy they are a little bit stiffer. Um, and I'm using it when I'm playing more kind of hip hop feel and more, um, yeah, another genres like that, yeah. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're here with Jamal Moore. <laughs> Jamal, what have you been doing lately? I've uh, been uh, doing some, uh, did a couple tours. I did one with uh, Natasha Bedingfield. A uh, cat named Grayson Chance and uh, Cody Simpson. Uh, yeah, just in a lot of studio stuff, a lot of studio stuff. Are you going out with Natasha so soon? Uh, yeah, they have something lined up soon. I can't speak about it, though. Oh, all right. It's <laughs> confidential stuff. We can't get into that. All right, cool. What stick are you using? Uh, I play, uh, I use the Aaron Spear stick sometimes. Um, I use the Extreme 5A. I like that stick a lot. Um, when I'm practicing, I do use Billy Cobham sticks. I like the way those sticks feel. And uh, yeah, that's what I use a lot. <laughs> All right, we're in the booth with Jonathan Dressel. Jonathan, tell us a little bit about what you've been up to and what you got coming up this year. Well, we just, uh, um, I play drums for Jimmy Kimmel Live late night television show. And uh, we're just starting our 10th season, if you can believe that. We just did actually last week, so um, we're uh, yeah we've been there for nine seasons and we're starting our tenth season and uh, we're just having a great time, you know. We um, we just uh, played with boys to men, you know. We backed them up and uh, and uh, yeah, we're just loving doing a gig and you know supporting Jimmy and uh, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, really, you know. Been having a lot of fun, so yeah. you get to play a Babco every night. That's cool. Yes, that's a that's a good thing. Yeah. So um, with this show and everything, do you get a chance to do anything outside, or is that pretty much keep up most of your time locked down? No, we could. Yeah, I could do some outside gigs and some sessions and stuff like that. So, but you know, it does take up a good amount of time. So, but that's not a bad thing, you know. Yeah, that's, that's a great gig to have. Yeah. <laughs> so, what stick are you playing? I'm playing the uh, the two B wood tip. And um, I love it. It's great. A heavy uh, weight. And um, you've been with Vic for how long now? 
Oh gosh, it's probably, I'd say, eight years, maybe? Seven or eight years. I haven't been keeping track. I should be keeping track of that stuff, huh? That's awesome. Thanks, man. All right, thanks, Dale. All right, we're here at Vic Firth with Seven. Seven, give us a little bit about what you've been doing and what you're going to be doing this year. Well, this last year, 2011, I was uh, out with a British pop rock artist uh, called Liven, and we did like you know three months with Peter Murphy. We did two different two different runs with Alice Cooper, which was great. And uh, so now, um, you know, I'm still living in Stockholm, Sweden, and uh, I've got a handful of students that I work with, and uh, you know, just staying busy and doing the doing the do, as they say. Awesome. And what stick uh, are you swinging out there? Actually, uh, I spent my entire life playing the uh, uh, American classic rock wood tip. It was the first pair of sticks I, I pulled out of the bin when I was you know, 10 years old, played those. But this last year, um, I switched over to the Ralph Hardeman Jr. indoor marching stick. And it's .635. It's just a little bit beefier for me. Um, it's got the barrel tip, which I love, because when I was, when I was actually marching myself, you know, I just really like the way that that, that is, in, you know, as opposed to the teardrop. And it's got that beefy neck, and it's it's white, which looks great under stage lights and everything. So it's uh, for me, it's a perfect stick. So awesome. so it's been great. Um, yeah. So you've been a big guy your whole life. Yeah, it's the only stick I've ever played. Ralph Humphrey. Hey. How are you? Joe Testa, good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah. So tell me uh, a little bit about last year and uh, where we're going in 2012 for you. 2012 will be kind of like 2011. Uh, I do this TV show, Dancing with the Stars. It's twice a year. It'll be coming back this year. It's, it'll be season 14, starting in March. I've been there since the beginning. It's, I'm, I'm happy to have the job. It's a great gig and uh, keeps me on top of my game. You know, everything that I've learned how to do, I do on that show, so I'm loving it, playing with great musicians, and uh, you know, it's an opportunity to sit down at some drums and uh, get some work done, do some playing. Awesome, and now what yeah. about Llama? What's going on with Llama this year? Well, uh, Llama's really sort of taken a bump up, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're sort of, you know, after so many years, uh, we're kind of in the, in the black, uh, it's just sometimes it takes a while to you know get get things organized. The program is really uh, a good program. It's a year and a half program. Um, we're we're featuring more clinicians and more master classes. We just had Dennis Chambers the other day. I'm working on getting Weckel over there and uh, a few other guys. And you know it's just it's it's a great school. We have a really good program. It's it's sort of tailor made for a, a small uh, enrollment, and so the guys get particular attention by a staff of 10 drum teachers. So, you know, the ratio of student to teacher is, is quite low. And uh, so it's it's a good situation. Right. You know, and, and Joe Percaro, my partner for 30 years in, in teaching, is still there and still very much a part of it all. And so it's, it's a good situation. That's great. And yeah. what's what's your, your weapon of choice? Well, Vic Firth sticks, uh, obviously. Uh, I, I don't have a model with my name on it. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to pursue that or not, but I, I actually tend to hover around 5A style. Uh, I've been using Dijonet's stick for a while. Uh, I use a Kara Jimbo stick for a while. I like them both. Uh, and then just the regular old 5A, you know, works good for me. Well, we're in the booth with Joe Picaro, the legendary one. and. Uh Joe, just give me a little rundown of what you've been doing lately and what you got coming up this year. Well, right now, uh, you know, I'm retired from the studio scene, but I'm uh, teaching at uh, LA Music Academy mm -hmm. uh, in, you know, Pasadena, and I'm uh, partners there with Ralph Humphrey, mm -hmm. and uh, I teach uh, jazz drumming, and uh, I teach the sight reading course. Excellent. And, you know, between my, uh, Ralph and I, we wrote you know, most of the curriculum that's happening there. And then I've been doing, uh, playing with Emil Richards, the jazz vibe player. Of course. We've been playing, you know, uh, uh, Vitello's, you know, these jazz clubs in North Hollywood, Charlie O's, 
And I've been doing some work with Don Lombardi out at uh, DW Drums. We're doing some uh, educational pro projects. You know, uh, Don's been, uh, he, it's, uh, it's called the Drum Channel. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we did some educational stuff on technique, sight reading. You know, they've had like Greg Bizonet, and Terry Bozio, and they had some great panel discussions with Louie, yeah. you know, uh, uh, Joe Morello. So, so very interesting. We've had some live sessions with Jimmy Cobb. They, you know, they brought in some uh, musicians to play with him. Yeah. So, you know, pretty excited about all that. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's about it. And how long have you been with Vic? With Vic? I've been with Vic. Well, Vic was, you know, I had my own little stick thing happening. And Vic was making sticks for me. We started about eight, ten years ago. And then uh, Vic decided that you know offered me to kind of take it over so I've been with Vic now for about oh, three four years I did an educational video for him with uh, Neil Narrow Larry yeah yeah so you know it's good that's been about it awesome all right thanks Joe all right thanks thank you guys